because this is such a hot subject, no? The world of the gay, the world of the, uh, the love parade, people uh, jumping and dancing in public, half naked, celebrating sensual uh, joy at, at the verge of incredibly loud uh, music and intoxication and just like celebrating ignorance you know what they call the love parade is the lust parade it has nothing to do with love and it has nothing to do with the human form of life and its perfection there's nothing more degrading and more sad than simply worshiping sex without considering that there is some higher purpose behind this sacred chance of a human being to reproduce himself to bring children into this world and uh, and to grow by serving them grow by had taking responsibility we want to uh, enjoy sex just for the sake of a momentary pleasure experience like a, a essential eruption or something like that this is so much deprived of the true meaning of the fullness of life you see any person can have that sexual experience in a way of masturbation or anything in such an ordinary way but he'll never feel satisfied and anything uh, which is sex life without the desire to have children is just an extended masturbation or maybe maybe some uh, some people getting together to to like they have nowadays sexual orgies people coming together with many people and think oh now we are going to enjoy in a very free style free way but this is nothing to do which will give you any peace, happiness, spirituality, advancement to you. All you will do is have a great chance to get sick and become very depressed. And uh, maybe there will be some person pregnant by who knows who and all kinds of stupid situations arise. No, this is not. We are not this material body we are not these people here in this world who will be happy by having sexual intercourse with different people and maybe man or female or male and male and female and female and and whatever the degradation of sexual intercourse is going to that way that people want to be happy and they can't they can't so the person has married, he has a nice wife, everything, but then he thinks, oh, I'm still not satisfied. I must look for another woman. And then he's trying to find another one, and then a third one. And in this way, uh, sexual frustrations, they just go on. It's like pouring uh, some gasoline in the fire to extinguish it it will not work it will just become a blazing fire by throwing in more it is the, the human form of life what we learn from the sages is that sex life is sacred because it brings children and they can be brought up in the service of god and family is a god-given thing because he himself has created and given to us the capacity of reproducing ourselves anyone is as important as sex life is and if you think you're important, then sex life was important. And sex life without bringing a child in this world uh, or trying to avoid that specifically, uh, then it is a, a perverted approach. It is simply not healthy, not sane, and it will not make you happy. That's the main thing. There's no way of happiness in this so-called love parade business or in, in all the sex movies, the porno movies, in, in all what to speak. And what's the proof of it? They're becoming more degraded and more degraded. And then they become pedophiles. Then they want to have sex with children or with animals or, or they even go that far as commit, committing sexual crimes of torturing people. V raping that's what rape is you, you you a person is being tortured into sex to submit and so many other things i mean there's the the the, the perversion and the degradation what sex without control and spiritual understanding takes people to it is an obvious story i don't even have to tell it but people think oh the love parade the love parade let's go to the love parade let's dance the techno beat and let's get drunk and and uh in this way enjoy life no 
you are a spirit soul and you should enjoy life in your spiritual connection, in a spiritual relationship with others, not cheating others. You will not see a person's beauty watching his genital, you know? And you will not get satisfaction of touch by simply touching people who are you are not taken care of. You know, it's not like that. And anything which has to do with sex and which has no gratefulness and no recognition to the supreme controller and the supreme lover of all, in other words, our creator and maintainer, if our sex life has no consideration of him, no offering to him, then we have misunderstood what this whole thing is about. Because he has created the craving of love in our heart. Because he wants that love. Because he loves us that much. And the intensity of the desire for a personal, deep, loving relationship, which emanates from him and it appears within each and every one as a sexual impulse, as a craving for love, all this together comes to bring us to understand that the real purpose of life is to learn how to love God and everyone and to reserve sex sacredly for those who we want to have a family with because then we can look into their eyes and don't cheat them and they will be our lifelong companion in love. That is my recommendation to you based on the teachings I received from my spiritual master Srila A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada who explained to us that the male vanity, the desire of lording it over and enjoying others without being responsible for them is the root disease for all our cheating mentality and egotism and exploitation in the material world. Male vanity is, I want to be the enjoyer, while really I'm not. And many women have male vanity too. The counterpart to male vanity is womanly motherhood feelings, wanting to care and nurture and love and teach people for their highest benefit. That is the other side of it. So we have to understand that the original spirit of craving for love transformed into lust is a projection on the material body for satisfaction. While in reality we should understand that this Adi Rasa, this original springing up joyful feeling of love for, other, for others is really the thing which should push you in towards God and increase your love so amazingly that you can have an all-embracing love. And that love you can have as a monk. You don't have to have sexual relationship with anybody. If you wish to live a life of monks, uh, renunciation, celibacy, that's also possible. And if not, if you prefer to have a family life with, with a beautiful family, then this is also God's gift. But whatever it is, monk's life or spiritual marriage life, lust is not to be celebrated independent. Lust is simply a part of the overall function of dedication and celebration, the mercy of God who is actually waiting for your passionate approach towards him in the spirit of finally I want to serve you with all my heart, with all my love because you are the rightful owner of this soul's capacity to love. And that is something very wonderful. This is a great discovery, the greatest treasure, and there will be no more frustration and anger out of lust simply uh, turned into further sadness and further misgivings and further mistakes which lead us down into the material world, into the bodies of animals, hogs, dogs, camels, asses, cocks, monkeys, 
they can have so much sex life as they wish. If you really wish to worship sex as the main engagement of existence, in an animal body you'll be much better off. In a human form of life, you should watch really carefully how wonderful real spiritual love is, what it has to offer. It is complete and it will satisfy your heart. I promise you, just read this Bhagavad Gita. It is very well explained there. What is the origin of our existence and the real purpose of our endeavors? How we can reach the perfection of life, self-realization, samadhi, the goal of yoga. And don't be misguided by those who are enamored and captured by lust and they're still hoping that this will be able to give them some complete satisfaction.